Hello everyone. Now in this topic, we are going to learn about the sentence segmentation. So basically sentence segmentation is the analysis of text based on sentences. In NLP analysis, we either analyze the text data based on meaningful words, which is tokens, or we analyze them based on sentences. To split the data to its main components, that is tokens, we can do that through Spacely library as follows. So first again, we need to import Spacey, then for spacey.n underscore core underscore web underscore sm. Then we do the tokenization part. So I've taken a sentence and, and I have run this piece when I run this piece of code. So every piece of text is tokenized. So as we see above, I split my text into tokens, which are words, punctuations and symbols by using the dot text. But if I want to split my text into sentences, I will use dot sense generators as follows. So I have write talk NLP and I have passed the sentence. So you can see online sales sets. So this is the text which I will be passing. And for sentence in talk one dot sense. Now when I click this, so you can see each sentences has been tokenized like online sales hit the high record high has been given the first uh, tokenized because the full stop has came so it has considered the entire text as the first tokenized value and for the second jewelry sales increased 8.8 percent electric sales grew 10.7 over the last years again the full stop has appeared so it has stopped there and can uh, uh, uh considered as an another token and the third you can see from the full stop till the full stop so as we can see spacey recognizes the end of each sentences and splits the about text by using the period symbol or the full stop as a sentence split style so to check if a specific word is the start of a sentence there is an attribute in spacey is underscore sent underscore start that can test if the index of a specific word is the start of a sentence or not so what you can do is just write print doc one and in the seven and you type doc wait one score seven seven and when you run this piece of code so it says for jewelry it is true so it's just checking a specific word in the start of the sentence there is an attribute so you can check if the index of a specific word is the start of the sentence or not so as we know that jewelry is the start of a specific sentence so it has written true so as we have seen previously that the index of the token jewelry is seven and when we check if the word jewelry is the start of the sentence spacey is able to recognize it and give it a true validation but what about if i choose a different word that has an index of five for example this word is high how spacey recognize this word as a start of a sentence or not so let's check so again i pass in the sentence say it's a high record print talk one five talk five and dot is underscore sent underscore start so click run okay so it is not able to recognize at the start so it has written the value false so actually spacey recognized the word high as a non start of sentence but what about specifying the sentence index can we say doc one dot send zero uh can we see that now let's check if we can see that or not so i've written here print talk one underscore sends zero when i run this okay we got an error and what the error says it says generator object is not subscriptable so what it says is like as we can see here it gives me an error because sends is a generator object and is not a list so in order to curb this problem what we can do is simply say list and inside that list we can pass on this entire text which is talk one dot send zero now what i do i just take this inside the list when i click it 
and you can you get the result so with including the sense generator into a list i was able to slice my text and collect the sentences according to its index placeholder so to see the about text as a list of sentences it is better to use list comprehension as follows as we all know list comprehension is basically one line of code which will convert your list into different condition you can even specify different types of condition it will convert into list and something sort of what you require so i have converted doc sense equals to sentence for sentence in doc one dot sense doc sense print it as sentence and as talk and also sense when i run this as you can see i get a list each sentence or token sentence has respective values four values so about my text was split into sentences because of sense generator and the sentences are the elements of a list because of list comprehension now i can collect the index of start and end of any sentence of my text to start and end attributes as follows so after i run this code so as we notice about the first sentence starts at index 0 with the token online ends at index 7 which is the token jewelry which is the start of the next sentence and it is not the part of the first sentence but what about the sentence ends with a semicolon can spacey recognize the sentences in other words is there a way to customize my sentence analysis by choosing the type of sentence splitter well this is possible so in customized sentence segmentation when we process our document in spacey's nlp object there is a track of pipeline that the text is followed. So it starts with the tokenizer as a main step, which is tokenizing the text into tokens. Then it follows with a tagger, which is giving tags to the words. These tags are actually defining the part of speech, which is the POS of each word on the text. The next step on the processing pipeline is the parcel, which is determining the relationship between the words, that is the dependency. Then the step of the entity recognizer, which is determining the proper nouns of entities such as persons, organizations, countries, etc. And this track of NLP pipeline for pre-processing the text is actually a default pipeline in which we can interfere and customize it with the track that fits our need. Each step of this track is return the document and it can be performed independently. This pipeline we have also seen in the previous video, so I'm not going to show you again. So you can infer to that previous video and understand how we manipulated the pipeline. We have added the new component, how we deleted the component and so on. So this was much about the sentence segmentation. Thank you. I hope you liked it.